Okay, all right, let's plug this back in. Let's put this back up here. All right, that was over the top. Was it over the top of that? Must have been up here, huh? No. No, that don't go to that anyway. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that goes to. Never mind. All right, so that fan speed sensor is plugged back in. I'll leave this out here. Like so. All right. I can put, actually, put this back on. Oh, I see it's hidden. Right there. I like, I don't mind doing this though, I really don't want it's a challenge, you know. It's a challenge to do something that you've never done before and figure it all out. Like this, I don't even have a book for it, just figure it out. There's a few things that I've learned, I'm sure I'll have some comments on there. Some other things that I could probably take some shortcuts on where I don't take as much stuff off. I do remember watching a video years ago on one of these that some guy did, some Ford mechanic, and he uh, did the thermostats on it. And I was I remember looking at that video. I remember watching. Going, what a pain in the ass that is! Change a damn thermostat. That's just ridiculous. This here might have that new radiator. I don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah. Got a nice little tool cart over there that Power 110W is all scattered on it, some parts on it, so. like let's go see if we got the right radiator looks like the same pile of junk could have had 460 radiators change up by the time I did one of these I'll tell you that for certain Clips and crap everywhere there. That all makes sense. That's going to be the top of it here. That's the bottom. All right, so let's take the little grommets out of it and put them on this one, I guess. like that a little grommet remover tool Right there. 
Just holding some wine in on the condenser or something. This is what's time consuming about stuff like this is all the stuff they get attached to them. Okay. Making any sense to you guys? And then how that come off of there? Yeah. Okay. That's how it come off, so. The hole's bigger here for some reason. That ain't right. I don't know what the hell they did there. What the hell, you know? <sighs> yeah, let's see. They, they screwed up on the hole there or something. What a piss poor deal. The other side's got the hole like it's supposed to. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong right here. Oh, the other side's got the hole like it's supposed to. They dicked up and something on the hole there and cast it wrong or drilled it out or some damn thing. That ain't right. Well, I guess it is what it is. That little condom's just gonna have to kind of sit down in there, I guess. Alright, let's get this pile of shit here. Get on there. Basically, kind of gotta bring that over there. Well, you can stick this underneath here. Huh. That ain't working either. You put that on afterwards, man. I don't think you can. I couldn't even get, I couldn't even see the bolts with it. And then there. God, you just gotta be careful with these radiators. When you're doing this kind of shit, you not screw your brand new radiator up. Definitely didn't want the lower shroud coming coming off of there, did they? Uh. All right, he's ready to cuss and scream. Got to get it down and. Slide them over those deals right there. Yeah, it's a tight fit. Okay. This thing here to have to screw with me. All right, here we go. Kind of went in, kind of at a weird angle. Ugh. Get 
duel here. <sighs> Get all the tools off of it. I can kind of see over the top, see where I'm at. Where's that? You just can't have enough light, I'll tell you what. It's not even close, I don't think. Where is the mount at? I'll pass it. I need to come back this way. The whole radiator. That one went on. That one went on, okay. How about this one here? No. Alright. That dirty bastard's on there. The 6 4 Blues. Put that lower radiator hose on there. I'll tell you what, if you want to do one of these, you got your work cut out for you. It ain't no walk in the park. She's on the mounts and everything. I think we can start attaching shit here before we smash something into the front of the core and ruin the brand new radiator. Let's start putting all this crap back on here. Uh, what is the first thing we want to do though? I want to put the cart before the horse. Here's that wonderful grommet thing there that did. Back in there like that. Next thing we want to do is put that put that pipe back in there. Before you put that radiator cross support back on, that's going to be out here. So this ought to come out. Actually, this is go like this. move this clamp to where I can get on there with an impactor and sit it down there at the bottom. Hell, I'm probably the one that did it. <laughs> I'm the one that works on this thing all the time. I just have to cuss myself. Alright, okay. Kick me in the balls. Please do it again. I haven't had enough pain yet.
back on me. I don't want to do that. Flexibility there, I think. I will have to. I might have screwed up there. I think I did. Ugh. All right. I could probably actually just go ahead and bolt this up right here. Let's just go ahead and bolt that condenser up while it's shipper right there. That'll keep that from flopping around all over the place. Uh, yeah. Take clamp out here, maybe. What in the hell is your problem? Like Arlie Ermey said, what seems to be your major malfunction, numbnuts? <sighs> I'm, I'm all screwed up here. Before we do that, we gotta get the bottom of these ears. I gotta get those ears in there. There's one. Bolt fell down. I heard it go right inside the bumper here or something. There it is right there. Alright. See, those aren't quite, I don't know. Some of the stuff, they don't quite make it to the same tolerance as the original. It doesn't quite line up and do things the way it should. See how they're not really all the way down in there? They're not manufactured right. They're just not. We just have to push down on it as far as we can. Got eight millimeter heads and some of them have ten millimeter heads and but they're the same thread. I don't remember which is which. I don't think it makes much difference to be honest with you, but I don't think it makes much difference. Okay, what about 
this thing here. We gotta put that other deal on there first. We gotta put that. Uh, we gotta put that cross member on there. That'll go right here like so. back on me a little bit there. What am I missing here? I don't know what I'm missing. I need to get all this crap back over here in front. It's kind of being in the way where it's at. Yeah, I can't put that there. Let's get this Hornicon plug now. Now that I can get to the grommet. Yeah, I'll end up breaking that. That's what'll happen to that. Does that go down there? No, that went over the top of the radiator, so it's gotta go up here. Alright, let's try this again. This one, I'll only get a bolt started in, I guess. that one. electrical yeah my cord I got my cord trapped wheel sitting going what the hell does that go to well that's my drop light there dipshit and it's kind of looking like I'm gonna have to take that back off there to get that out oh shit I mean, you gotta be kidding me man. that's what it is Gun drop cord out of there. All right. Moron, nice job there, Moron.
All right. Let's zip those up. Okay, we're gaining on her, baby. Get that here. That one right there. I don't know if that's the right way, but I sure am glad they made that radiator support unbolt like that. I don't know, I think it would have been a real pain in the ass without doing that. So, okay. Um, let's zip that up real quick. 10 millimeter. Uh. What the, the hell am I doing? All right. I'll probably go ahead and put that hood latch and all that crap back on there. Probably gonna have to readjust the latch and everything to get the hood to shut right and all that good stuff. We're getting her. Just gonna eyeball it here. Damn close. Okay, and the hood release latch cable is here. Let's make it draw much slip down the tube here. One should go right here. One right here. And that one there don't seem like it wants to stay where it's supposed to anymore. No, it don't. So, so much for that. Hopefully that other one does. Alright. I'll go there. Rock that back. Like that. Is there anything we can do for this thing here? Make that fit in there a little better? Or am I just sticking it in the wrong? No. It's got to be where that goes then. Keep going there. Yeah, that's where it goes. It's just not, not fitting anymore. No, that don't seem right, does it? No, it goes, it goes in one of them. Which it don't fit very good in there either. We're going to take a zip tie and wrap it around right there tie that on there is what we're gonna do first we're gonna put the uh, air to air back in it now, let's see here that clamp where's that clamp there it goes it goes right there don't it I'm trying to remember which way did I pull must have been on there like that Yeah, this has got to go 
it somewhere else. Should be doing is probably putting the hoses on here. put the intercooler on then I'm gonna trap the socket I ain't seeing the socket I thought there was a socket on the end of that I thought huh okay and there what I don't know You don't know what you're doing, don't make a video about it. <laughs> uh, get a kick out of that. Sorry. Warp sense of humor there. There was a socket on the end of that, and where the hell did it go? Because it ain't nowhere to be found right now. Well, let me find that 10 millimeter socket. for a radiator, huh? fits a certain way and that's it somebody up oh yeah all you do is take those two ball slits and the whole sun bitch comes out of there oh Okay. Well, 
the hell did I get that off before? Must have snaked back in there with a impact somehow. Okay. All right. Every cooler in the world is back in that thing again. My gosh. Coolers upon coolers upon coolers and upon more coolers. All right, these go in here. Ow, my head. Okay. Power steering reservoir is about a real ass ache, you know what? Didn't that go? Okay, I'm gonna see as it goes down in there, but I'm trying to remember how the hell. Maybe I should have let that upper hose off, huh? I need to pop it loose. Again, right there, I put the cart before the horse on that one. Oh, Damn it, I hit it again. Cocksucker. What a pile of shit. You have a nice pile of shit. What's down there? That's all the way down. Is it on? I guess the pile of shit's on there, huh? So I should have... No. There was two of these. These were holding these. That should go down in there like so. These six fours, probably, probably a real close matchup between the six four and the Duramax. Some of the Dura LB sevens were kind of a pain in the ass to work on. Okay, I am missing a couple bolts that I gotta find. I'm not sure where they're at. There's one laying down. Damn radiator down there. Okay. Woo! Okay, in there. Ooh. Put this back on real quick. 
Evet. Fitting in there very right tight, is it? That clip. I ain't liking the way that's fitting on there. Is I tighten it up already? No, I Yeah, now it's, now it's in there. Okay, all right. Up underneath to put on and that hose. This will be on here. Let's go back. Put this on here. Vacuum line. What the hell is that supposed to be going to the full drive? <laughs> goes to that. Alright guys, I just gotta put them zip ties and zip tie that harness back to the bottom of the shroud and put the lower... Alright guys, so I got the radiator installed, radiator installed done and uh, I haven't got any water in it yet, but I put the actuator in the transfer case for the full drive. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. It's shifting now. I can hear it. Now the four-wheel drive indicator light's coming on. Yeah. Look at 
get that problem figured out. Okay. Well, let's see what time it is, guys. I still need to put my vacuum... Oh, my vacuum pressure filler thing on this one. That's what I'm going to do to put the antifreeze back in it. And, and uh, I still got to figure out what's wrong with the tow haul system on. And he just came in here and delivered the parts for me and said that it was throwing fuel rail pressure codes on it. So I didn't see any in there, but we're going to have to run this thing up Mount Hebron there and push on it real hard and see what happens. And might end up be pulling the cab on it anyway. So. All right, till next time.